Welcome to this tutorial on automatic double tracking and slapback time domain effects. In the phasing, flanging and chorus video tutorial we looked at how very short delay times and modulation could be employed to create effects which change the character of the sound. At greater delay times phase related summing and cancelling effects diminish and more conventional delay effects become possible. In the studio it is common to have a performer double their part on a separate track in order to thicken the sound. This requires the performer to attempt two near identical performances. The natural time, pitch and articulation variations in the performances help to prevent phase summing and cancellation issues. Automatic double tracking seeks to emulate this effect with a simple delay line. To prevent the effect sounding too mechanical, a little modulation is added. Typical settings for ADT are Delay time of between 15 and 35 milliseconds No feedback Slow modulation speed and narrow modulation width This technique may also be employed to change a mono sound into a pseudo stereo sound by panning the dry and wet signals to opposite sides of the stereo field. At delay times of 70 milliseconds or more, the delays become distinct from the source sound. Between 70 and 150 milliseconds an effect known as slapback is heard. This effect is useful for adding aggression to lead vocals and produces a distinct effect associated with 1950s rock and roll recordings. Typical settings for slapback are a delay time of 70 milliseconds, no feedback and no modulation. The script for this tutorial along with accompanying images, can be found at our website projectstudiohandbook.com. We suggest you subscribe at our YouTube channel and join our mailing list at our website to receive notification of new videos, blog posts and subscriber-only extras. Thanks for watching.